Hi, I am Javier Solorzano, Senior Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. In this video, I will introduce our first proprietary bidirectional current sense amplifier family, the TS1101. In this typical application circuit, it may be necessary to measure the current from a battery to a load, or vice versa, the current flowing from a charger to the battery in order to charge the battery. The generated sense voltage across the inputs of the device are amplified by the gain of the TS1101 and the resulting output appears at the output pin that may be driving the input of an ADC in a microcontroller. The direction of the current is given by the sign pin. If the sign voltage is high, the direction of the current is from the power side connection to the load side connection. And in this case, transistor M1 is on and transistor M2 is off. If the sign voltage is low, the direction of the current is from the load side connection to the power side connection, and in this case, transistor M2 is on and transistor M1 is off. For system stability, it is important that the current sense amplifier provide an output voltage that is valid at all times, especially where the current changes direction. If this is not the case, there may be an input sense voltage region where the current sense amplifier will not respond. This is called the dead zone of the device. In this video, we will take a look at and compare the reverse load current behavior of the TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F bidirectional current sense amplifier. But first, let's take a look at some specifications. The TS1101 exhibits a factor of three lower input offset voltage, has a gain error improvement of 33%, a factor of 20 lower supply current, and it is available in four gain options of 25, 50, 100, and 200. The TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F evaluation board are going to be used to perform a side-by-side -side reverse load current behavior measurement. For this measurement, a supply voltage of 5 volts will be applied to the BDD pin and the RS- minus pin of the TS1101 and to the VCC and the RS- minus pin of the MAX9928. This sets the direction of the current from the load connection to the power connection. An active load is used to set and adjust the sense voltage across the input of the device. The output voltage along with the sign output will be monitored for a sense voltage range of negative 5 millivolts to negative 1 millivolts. Here is a picture of the TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F evaluation boards that are going to be used. Both the TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F are set to a gain of 50. Now let's take a look at the circuit in the lab. The setup to the right side is for the TS1101-50 and the setup to the left is for the MAX9928F. The supply voltage is set at 5 volts and the sign output voltage is at 0 volts indicating that the direction of the current is from the load side connection to the power side connection. The sense voltage is set at negative 5 millivolts, and it is a negative number to emphasize the polarity of the applied sense voltage where the voltage on the load side connection, RS minus, is higher than the power side connection, RS plus. The sense voltage is adjusted with an active load. At a gain of 50 and an applied sense voltage of negative 5 millivolts, the TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F should generate an ideal output voltage of 250 millivolts. You can see how the TS1101-50 has an output voltage of approximately 253 millivolts, which results in, an, in only a 1.2% error. However, the MAX9928F has an output voltage of approximately 262 millivolts, which results in a 4.8% error. Overall, the TS1101-50 is 75% more accurate than the MAX9928F. If I now drop the sense voltage applied to the TS1101 from negative 5 millivolts to negative 1 millivolts, you can see how the output voltage responds accordingly and the sign output voltage remains at 0 volts.
However, if I now do the same to the max 9928F and drop the sense voltage applied from negative 5 millivolts to negative 1 millivolts, pay attention to the output voltage and the sine voltage. You can see how the output voltage drops to zero volts at about negative 1.2 millivolts and the sine output voltage switches to a high state and is unable to correctly detect the direction of the current flow. If I now increase the sense voltage from negative 1.2 millivolts back to negative 5 millivolts, you can see how the output does not respond until the sense voltage reaches approximately negative 1.8 millivolts. If we increase the sense voltage on the TS1101 from negative 1 millivolts to negative 5 millivolts, you can see how the output responds accordingly and the sine output voltage remains at 0 volts. Here we have the TS1101-50 and the MAX9928F transfer characteristics. The x-axis represents the sense voltage and the y-axis represents the output voltage. As you can see from the plot, the TS1101 does not have a dead zone and can, it can provide an output voltage as low as the input offset voltage times the gain of the device. In contrast, the MAX9928F has a 1.2 millivolt wide dead zone that occurs in the region where the direction of the current is from the low tack connection to the power side connection. This can be seen by decreasing the sense voltage as shown here. In addition, it has a 1.8 millivolt dead zone in the same region, but you can see this by increasing the sense voltage as shown here. In essence, the TS1101-50 has a factor of 3 lower input offset voltage, it provides 75% more accuracy, it has a factor of 20 lower supply current, and it exhibits no dead zone, which results in a seamless current direction transition that supports system stability. I am Javier Solorzano, Senior Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. Thank you for watching.